A new study analyzing the data of over 20 million LinkedIn users over the time span of five years reveals that our acquaintances may be more helpful in finding a new job than close friends. Researchers behind the study say the findings will improve job mobility on the platform, but since users were unaware of their data being studied, some people may find the lack of transparency concerning. Published this month in Science, the study was conducted by researchers from LinkedIn, Harvard Business School and M.I.T. between 2015 and 2019. Researchers ran multiple large-scale randomized experiments on the platform's People You May Know algorithm, which suggests new connections to users. In a practice known as A-B testing, the experiments included giving certain users an algorithm that offered different, like close or not so close, contact recommendations, and then analyzing the new jobs that came out of those 2 billion new connections. More. Snapchat, big tech layoffs making you anxious about your job? Don't panic. What to know? Researchers were testing a social scientific theory known as the strength of weak ties, which Sheenon Errol, an award-winning management and data science professor at M.I.T. and lead author of the study, said is one of the most influential social science theories of the last century. In that th. His research posits it's those weak ties that can lead you to better job opportunities not found in your strong ties network. Strong ties can be confining to small, well-defined groups, like how you probably know the close friends of your close friends. The LinkedIn study surprisingly confirmed this theory, Errol said. Acquaintances are more valuable sources of job opportunities, Errol said. We also found that it's not the weakest ties but moderately weak ties, which are the best. The strength of these weak ties varied across industries. The findings help us understand how platform algorithms affect employment opportunities and outcomes and help LinkedIn design their platform to more. Privacy advocates told the New York Times Sunday that some of the 20 million LinkedIn users may not be happy that their data was used without consent. That resistance is part of a long-standing pattern of people's data being tracked and used by tech companies without their knowledge.